If you love dying to the same boss over and over and over and over and over and over and over again as a pretty magical girl and getting lost in a grim metroidvania, finding a slew of helpful relics and spirits to whack better with, all the while trying not to get numbed to death by monstrosities, you'll love Ender Lilies. Welcome to 5 Minute Game Reviews with your resident Neko business cat, Miss Lyra Rose, where we sniff out if a game is worth your hard earned rose credits or if you should pushing it off your tippy playlist. Let's get down to business. Ender Lilies is a dark fantasy adventure 2D platformer that will have you jumping and sliding for days or around 12.5 hours of gameplay to be precise. In a storybook like fairy tale that doesn't really have a happily ever after. You play Lily, the last surviving amnesiac priestess who is awoken in a church by the spirit of a faithful knight only to be told that everyone is dead, or rather immortal undead, having been struck by the endless rain that has blighted and devastated the entire kingdom and that only she can purify everyone's souls and save them from a waking nightmare. Whew, tough break, kid. Explore a heckin' honkin' map through the church, the village, the castle, the catacombs, the witch's forest, creepy labs and beyond, struggling your way through some really horrifying enemies like, what the hell is this? <laughs> get it off me. So, how does it hold up on the Rose Enterprise's official rating scales? Is it good for the pause? Yes and no, so in the middle at a 3 out of 5. I came at this straight after Hollow Knight and Ori and the Will of the Wisps, so the contrast between the not so smooth platforming and combat was really obvious. There are a bunch of secrets that had you do some crazy ability switching platforming and it just wasn't quite built for that. I found that a lot of my deaths were from input difficulties rather than skill, however it is quite a satisfying difficulty scale and it really makes you work for those upgrades, especially since Lily herself is super useless. The spirit build is the most interesting part, where you get two loadouts of the main spirits which are the bosses and mini bosses you, that you defeat and purify, and you get to use their abilities. Gotta love this laser of death. There's a lot of room for customization and upgrades with all the relics and spirits you find to fit your playstyle. Max out those healing prayers early, trust me. The best part is the ample fast travel, like you literally don't need to walk anywhere once you've sat your butt down on the sparkly seat. You can always return to the last bench and then call upon the magical undead horse to carry you around. Is the plot chunky or slonky? Slonky, honestly. I, I gotta give it a 2 out of 5 because while it's a really cool concept, it's not executed as well as it could be. The lore you find is on the nose, the memories you get feel a bit backstory dumping, and honestly I found myself ignoring the story because I was more invested in the gameplay and exploration. There are multiple endings, kinda, and you can reach the first about halfway through and it's very anticlimactic and sudden, but it's not the true ending, which involves hours and hours more exploring. And what really happened is congruent with the grim fairy tale that's unfolding. Does it look pretty? This is where Ender Lily shines, 5 out of 5. It's grim, sure, but it's also very pretty in that grimness, and sometimes there's opportunities for bursts of colour. To keep this detailed design through all the flashy combat is pretty damn good, and the enemies speak for themselves. Would your ears prick up? A lot of Metroids have great soundtracks, and this is one of them. 4 out of 5 for me. Nothing amazingly memorable, but all very fitting for each area to really bring out the atmosphere and set the mood from sombre to tense, and it's really great to listen to as background music. Overall, I'd rate this game on the meow scale. <coughs> It's a solid addition to the Souls-like Metrovania genre that doesn't take that extra step to stand out story-wise or gameplay-wise, and for me wrestling with the controls was super frustrating, but definitely a memorable, challenging experience. And finally, the million dollar question, should you spend your rose credits on this? Yes. At around 25 USD, it's worth full price, but if you see it on sale, it's a bargain for sure. All the linky links below. Alrighty ladies and gentle nyans, that about wraps up this 5 minute review. If you've played the game before or want to try it out, leave a comment below. And make sure you subscribe for more reviews, me out or leave me your gameplay, become part of the Rose Enterprises lore and more. Until next time!